You know, I think this might actually be a very, very rare case of a horror prequel that actually kind of works. The first Omen was a brand new 2024 horror film directed by Arkasha Stevenson, starring Nell Tiger Free and Ralph Innocent. And I really didn't know much about this movie. Um, I'd never seen any of the Omen movies until, you know, leading up to this one. Uh, one of my friends back in 2016, 17 told me about these movies and uh, I just never got around to them. Then when this movie was announced, the trailer was very astonishing. Um, I decided, why not pick up the Scream Factory box set? Finally watched them in preparation for this one. Uh, the first one's a classic, and they just get progressively worse. <laughs> That's my quick review of the original five films. Um, either way, let's go ahead and jump into this review, starting off with the good. And there's really a lot to love in this movie. Uh, first of all, you get Nell Tiger Free in this movie. Uh, I think this might be her first role. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but I really, really liked her in this movie. She gave a very solid performance and uh, I love the character development she goes through and the emotions that she's able to portray this character in. Um, very great performance. I'm really excited to see where she goes in her career. Um, really liked her here. Then you got Ralph Innocent in here as uh, Father Brennan, who is a character from the original. Um, obviously, he didn't play Father Brennan in the original, but either way... Uh, Ralph Innocent is a very underrated actor, and I really like him in this movie. Um, I thought that he played Father Brennan very well. I thought that uh, the way he played the character was kind of paying respect to Patrick Troughton, who played Father Brennan in the original, and I thought he was just as great as Patrick Troughton, honestly. Uh, just really great to see a younger version of Father Brennan uh, get a little bit more of his backstory. Really fun performance from Ralph Innocent. And then finally you got Bill Nighy in this movie. Um, he's a world-class actor. Everybody has seen at least one thing with him. He's really great here. Uh, he has only got a couple scenes, but he's really great in the movie when he is in it. He can be unsettling in some scenes. Um, he's just really great. Uh, he's great here. He's great in everything, but regardless. And aside from the acting, you get a really interesting story. Now, I've, I've seen all the comparisons between this and Immaculate. And while I can kind of get it, I still feel like this movie is different enough from Immaculate to not really warrant too many comparisons, I guess. Um, it's your typical Catholic movie where... Uh, a nun gets pregnant, yes, that's the basic plot synopsis of Immaculate, it's the basic plot synopsis here, but I feel like the execution in both movies is just completely different, especially with this one already being tied to a pre-existing franchise, um, it just follows the, uh, the points of the plot a little differently, and um, I really enjoyed this one. A little bit more than I enjoyed Immaculate. Um, as you can tell from my review of Immaculate, I was not a fan of that movie. Uh, this one, it was just a little easier to digest, I guess? I don't know. But uh, the atmosphere in this movie is fantastic. The creepy atmosphere, just the haunting aspects of it, um, really harkens back to the original Omen, uh, which is one of the creepiest movies I've ever seen. And um, I feel like this movie recaptured the magic of that creepiness uh, very, very well. And uh, the score really adds to that as well. And uh, there's some really grotesque imagery in here that uh, I hear that they had to edit some of it down to get an R rating. Apparently they almost got an NC-17 rating, which uh, does not surprise me, especially with some of the stuff that they show in this movie. And also, uh, there's just some really great uh, creepy scenes where you're just looking at something and you start to make something out in the darkest corner, but it doesn't jump scare you. And that's one of my favorite things about this movie. 
it doesn't jump scare you a lot and that's I love it when a horror movie doesn't do that because I'm not a jump scare fan but uh either way that's about all for the good on to the bad and there's one thing I was not a fan of in this movie and I feel like this was a studio decision not a director decision and it's they tack on about another two to three minutes at the very end of this movie to try and set up for a sequel. The sequel is The Omen. I didn't need the extra ending to set up for a uh, sequel to the prequel to The Omen. I just I didn't need it. But uh, that's about all for the bad on to the final thoughts. I really enjoyed this movie. Uh, for a first time watcher of The Omen franchise, and as someone who really only loved the first one, I really love this movie, uh, probably just as much as I love the original. The first Omen is a solid return to form for the Omen franchise. I really enjoyed it, and I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. So that was my thoughts on the first Omen. Have you seen this movie yet? Let me know down in the comments what you thought about it if you have seen it. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.